Hi there and welcome. I'm Cheryl. This is Your Journey Yoga. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today's session is going to be spent on the psoas, the quadriceps, and those hip flexors. The muscles that are along the front of the legs and into those hips. We spend so much time with those muscles shortened in a seated position, working, playing, watching, relaxing, that kind of thing. So really want to spend some time giving some length to those muscles. If you do and are feeling uncomfortable for any reason, please Please know that you can modify, you can come out of whatever pose you need to. Be mindful of the intensity. We never want to go above an eight. Um, so just we really want to spend some time finding a really good space um, to find that length. Let's get started. So we're going to come up to a kneeling position. Give yourself plenty of room. Ah. And we are going to add a block in today if you have one handy. If you don't, don't worry about it. Not a big deal. We're going to bring our weight to our left knee and we're going to bring that right foot forward slightly forward so it's right underneath the knee so nothing crazy not leaning into too too deep and our knees are bent to a 90 degrees we're going to square the hips square the pelvis and then we're going to squeeze the buns and add a pelvic tilt so if your pelvis were a bowl i want you to visualize that you're going to spill out the back of your bowl so as you squeeze through those glutes you should feel a really nice stretch down the front of that left leg and just breathe relax those shoulders finding your breath Uh, so those hips, mm, they need some love. Not only do we spend a fair amount of time seated each day, whether we're working, driving, on the computer, whatever it is, um, but they just, they tend to hold a fair amount of negative energy. So let's let some of that go, shall we? Gently releasing, and we're going to take a big step forward with that right foot, and then ever so gently lean in. So as we press those hips forward, oh yes, that stretch all down the front of that left leg. Chest is lifting and the core is strong. Breathe. Inhale, straightening that front leg a little bit. And then exhale, sink. So just noticing the sensations. Inhale, straighten. And exhale, sink. What's happening through the front of that left leg? How about that, left, that right hip? One more time, inhale, straighten, and exhale, sink. This time, as we inhale, we're going to straighten a little bit, and we're going to take that back foot, and we're going to draw it in just a bit. We're going to open the pelvis and then lean in once again. Hands can be wherever you would like them to be. Inhale, straighten, and exhale, sink. Again, inhale, straighten and exhale sink inhale straighten once again straighten that back foot out we lean in extending that left arm out and up a little deeper stretch making sure the body's ready for it inhaling it up tall releasing that left hand to the inside of your right foot rotate your body and extend right arm to the sky reach it up high as you can reach and just breathe if you like tuck the back toes lift that back knee you don't have to find what works for you as you exhale releasing right hand down one hand on either side of your foot square the pelvis core is strong you can stay right here or if you like lifting the arms coming to a crescent lunge as we lengthen through that back leg, feeling that beautiful stretch all through the front of that left leg. We flow forward, releasing that back knee. We lift the chest, straightening that right leg. And let's pull that right foot in. Left leg comes forward and again to that 90 degrees. So not a crazy stretch. Knees are bent to 90, squaring the pelvis. Squeeze your buns that little pelvic tilt and feel that deep stretch inside the front of that right leg, that right, the right hip, your psoas. It's good stuff. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Core is strong, chest is lifted. Warm fuzziness down the front of that right leg. Can you feel it? And gently release that pelvic tilt, core strong. Take a giant step forward with your left foot and lean in. Hands are just resting on that left thigh. Inhale, straighten that front leg a little bit. Keep the pelvis facing front. And then exhale, sink. 
We're going to open those hips in just a second. Inhale, straighten. And exhale, sink, keeping the core strong. Inhale, straighten. And exhale, sink. Inhale, straighten that front leg. We're going to bring that back foot and draw it across. Breathe. Now the hips open, pelvis is open to the side, and we sink in. And again, you can have your hands wherever you want them to be. Inhale, straighten, and exhale, sink. So we're getting a good inner thigh stretch. At the same time, stretching through the front of the legs. Breathe. A little different stretch through that right hip. One more time. And sink. Inhale, straighten. We turn back towards front, bringing that right foot straight behind us once again, extending right arm out as we lean in and arch it back. Ah, yes. Feel that beautiful stretch all the way down the right side of that body. So those tight psoas muscles, tight hip flexors, ah, they can really make it hard on the back. Tight, sore back. Inhaling it up nice and tall, releasing that right hand to the inside of your left foot. Rotate your body and extend left arm to the sky. So as we work to create length in the psoas, in the hip flexors, in that quadricep, lessens the pull on the pelvis and helps that back remain healthy and happy. If you like, tuck your back toes, extend that back leg, reach, find your breath. What are you feeling where? As you exhale, release that left hand down, hand on either side of your foot. You can choose to stay right here, allowing those hips to be heavy in our runner's lunge. Or if you like, lift the arms to your crescent lunge. Shoulders are soft, little more intensity than when that back knee was down. And flow forward. Hands on either side of your foot this time. Lift the hips, sweep it back. Extend that left leg to the sky. And gently release it down to down dog. Shift your weight to your left foot. Right toes to the sky. We're just going to alternate. Lifting a leg, release that right foot. Left leg to the sky. And release it down one more time. Right leg lifts. And gently release it down to down dog. And we inhale it to high plank. Super slow. Lower down onto your tummy. Press it through cobra. Uh, the front of the pelvis remaining on the mat. You can bend those elbows as much or as little as you like. You can extend those arms. Just make sure that those shoulders are rolled back and breathe. Slowly lowering down onto your tummy. Hands are supporting on either side, nose or chin to the mat. Let's pull that right knee up and out. Inner thigh resting on the mat. Pulling that knee up to about hip height may not come that far. It's okay. Pull it up to where it feels right to you. If it feels right, turn your left side of the face to the mat and extend those arms. Let your chest be heavy. Let your arms be heavy. And just breathe our half frog pose. We pull those hands back in, lifting the face once again, nose and chin to the mat. Pull that right leg in, and left knee goes out to the side. We turn right side of the face to the mat, and if you like, extend those arms out. Breathe. Let the upper body be heavy. Relax through the hips, through the pelvis. What do you feel? We pull those hands back in, drawing that left leg back out long. Let's press it back to child's pose. 
Mm, nice stretch for that lower back. If stretching through those quadriceps, the hip flexors and the psoas were pretty intense, this might feel even better. So if the, those muscles are happier being shorter, yeah, that's a lot of work to lengthen psoas, quads, hip flexors. So just know that. Don't judge, don't criticize. Just know that you are doing something really, really, really good for yourself. Let's go ahead and walk those hands up. Come over onto a hip. Sweep your feet around and slide on down towards the top of your mat. So here we're going to take that um, block, if you've got it, and we're going to place it behind us, kind of just at tailbone. Hands come behind. We're going to lift and place tailbone just above your bum onto that block. So if you don't have the block, it's okay. Just go ahead and lay down. If you have a, a pillow or a blanket, slide that under the small of your back, and we're just going to open up arms out to a T. Breathe. If you like, if having it on that tailbone doesn't feel great, place it right underneath your pelvis, right underneath your bum. So any place feels right to you, make it happen. Breathe. Now we can keep those legs long, or if you wish, draw the soles of the feet together and pull your knees up and out, heels up towards your bum. Find your breath. So we're going to add a little progression here. You can stay right here. If you like, draw the knees together. And you're going to take the block kind of to its level two, so that mid rise just at the tailbone, kind of just above your bum, and extend those legs. So as we add that back bend, that arch, can you feel that great stretch through the front of the legs? Arms are going to be, hands are going to be wherever you need them to be for support. Find your breath. If you're like, wow, this just does not feel great, adjust that back down to that lower level. And we pull those feet in, feet are hip width apart, a supported bridge. If you like, press to your heels, lift your hips, release that block, arms come down by your sides, and squeeze your buttons, lifting your hips just as high as you can get them. Breathe. Activating the glutes, activating the hamstrings, stretching down the front of the legs. Slowly releasing back down one vertebra at a time. Really working to get each and every vertebra to touch individually all the way back down. As you release, little pelvic tilt, press to your heels and let's slowly rise all the way back up to our bridge. Find your breath, slow it down. Squeeze your buttons. And slowly release it back down. We're going to do that one more time. As you release, re-engage. Pelvic tilt. Press the small of the back down. Press through your heels. And peel that spine off the back of mat one vertebra at a time. All the way up. And squeeze. You might feel a warm little fuzziness in those glutes and the hamstrings. That's a beautiful thing, really feeling that firing up of those glutes and the hamstrings. All too often, those muscles are underfired, underused, and it all goes into your quadriceps. So if you're feeling that, embrace it and slowly back down we go. And let's pull those knees in. Just a nice stretch for your lower back, for those glutes.
and let's extend that left leg out. Right knee stays in, right arm extends out to a T, left hand to the outside of the right knee and gently pull your leg across your body. And this just feels fantastic. Releasing tension in that lower back, stretching in that right hip, taking your gaze out over that right arm and just breathe. We release that left hand, roll it back to center, extending your right leg to the sky, little external rotation through that hip, and slowly lower your leg down and allow it to come to rest. Left knee pulls in, left arm extends out to a T, right hand to the outside of the left knee and gently pull your leg across your body, keeping both shoulders against the earth, turning and taking your gaze out over that left arm. Find your breath. Noticing if one side's a little tighter than the other. It's just working through. It's letting go. It's finding forgiveness. Recognizing where we're tight. And just know it's all going to be okay. We're going to do the things that we know we need to do to take care of ourselves. And we're going to give ourselves permission to feel all the feels. And to let go as much as possible. Releasing that right hand, rolling it back to center, extending that left leg to the sky, point your toes, lengthen your leg, little external rotation through that hip, and slowly lower your leg down. And allow it to come to rest. Uh, we gently pull those knees in towards the chest. Rocking to your side or rocking it up. Let's sweep those feet around. Back up onto those knees, taking your block, and we're going to place that block either in that level one or level two or level three position, whatever it feels good to you, right between those feet, and we're going to sit back to our hero's pose. If you particularly, if you are taking special care of your knees, you want to make sure that that block is as high enough that it feels right to you, and it's just supporting right at our tailbone. Knees are hip-width apart. Roll those shoulders back. Let's turn the back of the hands to face the tops of the thighs. Close your eyes and breathe. Let your body sink. Let the tension melt. Let your breath just flow. Nice stretch down the front of the legs, through the thighs. An awareness of the backs of the hands against your legs. Noticing the length in your spine, the quietness of your breath, that flow of energy throughout your being, healing, energizing. Gently turning and placing your palms to your thighs, spread your fingers wide. Pull the heels of the hands back to the crease of the hips and just a gentle press down. Find your breath. Inhale, lift that press, release it. Slide your hands towards your knees just a bit. And as you exhale, a little press of the heels of the hands to that mid quad. Make sure you're breathing. As you inhale, release that pressure and slide it forward. Now with the whole hand, gently press it down. Pads of the fingers, palm of the hand, heel of the hand, middle finger just above the knees. Keeping that pressure, just slowly pull those hands back. A little more pressure through the pads of the fingers. All the way up to the hip crease. And once again, turn your palms to the sky, back of the hands resting to your thighs. A little smile on your face, if you can find it. A little tuck of your chin towards your chest. Pull the hands to heart center. And we take just a moment to thank our beautiful body for taking us on this journey today.
Wishing you a healthy and happy existence every single day. Gently lift that beautiful face, open those eyes, and thank you. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for coming back. If this is your first time with me, I hope you loved it. I hope you take a, um, just a moment to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have, I thank you very, very much. Be well. Take care. And until the next time, light, love, and namaste.